<laughs> I am Mike Witzek. Welcome back to Marathon Mortgage Happy Hour. I am Rory Farrell. Welcome back to uh, America, Mike Witzek. Yes, thank you. I was I didn't know where you were going with that. Yes, yep. I am back in America, back yeah. in the U.S. Of Last a. week we we dropped an episode on Friday, but you actually weren't even here. You I was not in Spain or yeah, where in Spain? Um, Marbella, so Costa de Sol, beautiful place, very cool, but not quite as nice as Erdenheim, Pennsylvania. Um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. All right. Um, this is a special beer for okay. today. Yes, uh, yes, yes. My brother lives out in San Diego. I asked him to send us a little care package. Um, it's like a thousand degrees right now. So oh, um, yeah. I decided an Italian Pilsner from Oceanside, California, um, which is like North County, San Diego. Um, would do the trick for today. Yeah. So 5.3%, um, similar to a German Pilsner. They just dry hop it. So it's going to have a, just a little bit of a, a different aroma profile. Yeah. Um, but really clean, really dry. Should Very be good. awesome. So Very awesome. Cool. Check it out. Reminds me of my family I was with last week. So uh, shout out to Dylan, my brother. And then uh, this is from, uh, what's well, a collaboration, actually. It's Bagby Beer and Artifacts, both from San Diego, North County. Very neat. So. There you go. This is what you want on a nice hot day. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the smell of it already. You already know you'll buy a four-pack. I, I do think so. I love this. Yeah, that smells good. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Happy Friday. Thank you. Happy Friday. Yeah, that's good. That's a good beer. Got that that little Pilsner I do like crispiness at the end. Yeah, I can drink like those nice. for sure. Very nice. Yeah, yeah or nay. Buy a four pack? Buy a four pack. All for right. sure. There you go. All the right, Italian let's, strike a dick again. Let's actually you were trying to did you do you remember what this translates to yeah 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 yeah. it just uh, that all that says is uh, so chin chin's the proper way to say like uh cheers in italian oh. and um so it says cheers i know three amici yforza besides so i guess the name of the company is uh forza correct is that right i think forza in italian is like uh puree or like yeah so it just says um cheers uh, to all um and then i think it's like amici I forget what Amici is, and then uh, it just basically says "Cheers to all" uh, from the Forza Lego side. Okay, cool. Well, so yeah, there you go. Happy Friday. Yeah, very nice. Anyway, all right, mortgage stuff. Yes, yeah, so let's it get into is, the industry. It is a quiet time in our industry. Um, rates are on the rise, so I figured it would be a good idea to talk a little bit about um, when rates are rising, and, and really not even when, when any time. How do we determine internally what rates are available to our clients? So yeah. obviously each client's a little different, but based on previous conversations we've had in this podcast about the loan level price adjustments, you know, different rates, different down payments, or I'm sorry, uh, different credit scores, different down payments, that all kind of factors into it. But um, just really boil it down um, and keep it really simple, just kind of a high level conversation on this. So yeah, um, yeah, so. I think I think that um, when we're sh when not when we're but when you are shopping a rate around or when you're looking to get a rate. Um, there's a lot of things that go into it. We've talked about the LLPAs before and, and stuff on previous podcasts, but at the most simple bottom line of things, um, we, we obviously on our end have to look at rates that are profitable for us. So what it comes down to is we get paid a referral fee almost from the bank for your, your loan. And that's where all the credit comes into effect, down payment, things like that. It affects how much the referral fee is quote unquote. Um, so that's the simplest way we can kind of put it. Uh, to not get too into the weeds <laughs> and that comes into effect when we're pricing out your your loan and figuring out how can we make this a good situation for you first off and then how can we maybe be profitable on this as well you yeah, know we have a, to look we can't do this for free so yeah. i mean especially in this market where everybody is really shopping around to save an eighth of a rate or a couple hundred bucks so there's definitely a fine line between like offering our buyers rates that are competitive and are the best in the market so that we win that business, but also so that that lender still pays us enough to keep the lights on and, and to be profitable Correct. from a business standpoint. And, and when we get into it, you know, we have, we work with multiple different lenders who pay different, you know, uh, amounts, I guess, no matter where you go, everybody's going to be different. So that's the one benefit of, of, us as a company or a brokerage in general is that we can shop it around. You know, we have yeah. some, some lenders might be offering a promo for certain uh, loan amounts or certain things that are going on. Uh, other lenders might have special programs that fit into your qualifications. So that's a huge plus of ours. Plus on top of all that, if you go to a bank or you go to um, certain places, depending on where it's at, 
they might just be uh, a loan officer there might just be given rates from that bank sure. and they said hey here's your rates for the day um, whereas we're not like that you know Tom stresses on us that hey look if if you want to win this deal and that person really wants that rate and you can help them out we're still going to be able to make a little bit of money then you know take the hit on our end and, and help them out and help it get it done uh, so that's a huge kind of bonus factor of ours that we can really you know touch on when it comes to these high rates yeah and tom's very flexible with that he he's got a very long-term vision of this company and, and our careers so he's like hey get the business make yeah. make it make what you can whatever make the client happy and then that person will then come back and refinance with us that person will then uh, exactly. refer their friends um, and, and make the process as smooth as possible give them a good experience and then you know that will kind of in Cold. turn create business building business maybe yep. yeah um, so kind of really high level. So let's say today rates come out and you're my client and you come in and you say, Hey, what's the rate today? All right. I have a 580 credit score. Now. <laughs> so I say, all right, Mike, uh, today the rate is, um, I know that if I give you a 6% rate, we can make a point on the loan. Mm -hmm. Now, if I give you a six and a half percent rate, I would maybe make a point and a half. If I gave you a 7% rate, maybe I'd be making two points. Yes. Right. So obviously the higher the rate, the, the more, more money, money I make on the back end. Correct. Or yep. Not me, but the company. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, if I offer you 7% because I want to make the most money, you're going to come in and say, well, this other lender can do it at six and a half. So I said, all right, you know, how do I be competitive between that six and 7% rate? Well, we can still make that money and it'd leave you with a great rate and have you cut bringing your business to us. Yeah. Yeah, so. no, absolutely. And that's a great way to explain it. So I think that's, a sp you know, I think the biggest thing with where rates are headed and the amount of inventory that's out there, you know, and it's all varying on your location, but where we're at in the outside of Philadelphia and the, uh, you know, kind of more high end suburbs and, uh, even, you know, just, uh, even past the suburbs up uh, toward the Poconos, it's still a very limited amount of inventory in our area. And a lot of people are in you know need of buying a home. A lot of sellers don't want to sell their home because they have the fear of, hey, if I sell my home, am I going to be able to buy one? Am I going to be able to you know, uh, get into a new home. So there's a lot of what ifs in this environment right now. And I think when you're shopping a rate around, you have to take all this into account. And I think that's a good way of explaining it. Yeah. All right. Wait. Sorry to get into the weeds there. Yeah, um, we could spend an hour of a podcast talking about oh, pricing and how we figure that all out and yeah. how we shop it around and, and all Insanely that. Insanely amount. That'll be boring. Yeah. Very so uh, wins for the week. You got anything that you want to talk about? Um, hmm. Yeah. I mean, number one, I guess my personal win would be, you know, I got to spend uh, a week in Spain with my family, which is great. A lot of my family from Italy came uh, and a lot of my family... Forza. Forza. Um, shout out Marco for the polo, actually. Uh, well, yeah, hey, I didn't even mean to do that, but uh, Marco <laughs> Polo, love it. Uh, he did give me this polo, though. He really did. This is uh, from one of my that was Italian an unintentional friends. dad joke. That was an unintentional dad joke, but it went great. So that my win would probably be going to Spain. Uh, and then my industry win would be that I've been working for the past two months on a, uh, you know, a pretty kind of, not a tricky deal, but just working with a couple who is going to be purchasing a home uh and you know they finally figured out all of the intricacies of it and they figured they were comfortable enough to do it and we were able to get them a good rate and they locked in and we're kind of moving that process along for them so it's exciting it's the first time buying a home and they're they're all you know excited for it That's so awesome. yeah. yeah little wins especially in this market it's just you gotta <laughs> you gotta, gotta focus it. on the little things and um i'm gonna focus on a on a personal win just uh it's one of the things in this in this industry, you know, whether you're real estate or mortgage broker, like mm -hmm. there's going to be times when you're really busy, you know, and you're working your nights and your weekends and you can't get off the phone and you can't spend time with your family and you can't go on vacation. And it's not like that right now. It's oh, definitely yeah. on the quieter side. Um, and it's a roller coaster, this industry. You got to and you got to treat it like that. So I had a couple good years, like really, really good years with the refi market and a couple you know, purchases. But um, what I try to do is focus on the things that are outside of work in these slower times, you know, spending time with family, going on vacation. So I got a couple of vacations planned, um, four day weekend over 4th of July. It was just a really nice weekend with my family. Got to spend a lot of family time with my kids. So, um, that's going to be my win. I mean, there's some other kind of, you know, mortgage industry related things, but, uh, sometimes you got to realize the, the, the more important things is, you know, the family relationships that you're able to, to spend with, uh, you know, spend that time with them on these slower times. So no, it's not M mortgages are life, baby. <laughs> And get it tatted across my chest. <laughs> Marathon. 
Uh, but no, yeah, pot. very, very, very true. Very, very true. And I think uh, it, it's times like this you could take a step back and realize that. So it's yeah. nice. So, but having that perception or, you know, that, yeah, that kind of way to step back is. I mean, when I jumped into this industry, it was like, vroom, it was a oh, thousand, yeah. yep. ten miles an hour. And then, you know, six months later, everybody's like, oh, where did it all go? What are all doing? Yeah. But so, you got to uh, ride the roller coaster. Got to ride it. Got to yeah. ride it. All right. Well, anything else to add? Nah, nah, not really. Shout out Anthotti for uh, posting us up in Spain. All right. Yeah, I wish I had an Anthotti. Yeah. Cheers, Anthony. Happy Friday. Cheers. Happy Friday, everybody. Papa. Chin chin. It's hot.